I am so excited to introduce the very first thing of the evening, besides the most amazing worship ever, is um, we have video testimonies that women have been willing to share their transparency be with us. And the thing that's so amazing is that whenever we, I love how you're all like doing this because I'm in that season too. So I just feel like I'm in such good company. But um, the one thing that's so great is that whenever women give their testimonies back to God, it allows God to be glorified in their life and they don't wanna waste the pain that they have went through. For God alone is the only one that can bring comfort, even if our circumstances never change, that God can change us and he can give us an abundance and he can give us hope and he can encourage us. And so whenever you watch these different testimonies, I want you to always remember that these ladies are giving their testimonies back to God to declare his wondrous love and, they're, and they have a heart of thanksgiving. They have this heart that says, I am thankful and I wanna give this back to the Lord. And so the very first testimony that we're gonna be sharing, each testimony is five minutes long and the first one is Debbie. And Debbie is new to our Water Springs family. She was invited by a friend to come to a Hilton Set Free Bible study. And whenever, um, if, you ever, if you see her running around here, I can see her up here over here in the uh, front. You wanna raise your hand, Debbie? All right. And so when you look at Debbie, you would never know that she's been battling with health issues for over 12 years, nor would you ever guess all of the life changes that have happened in her along her journey. And that's what's so amazing about all of us ladies. We can look at each other, but behind every single story, Every, behind every pair of eyes is a story and every single story is important to God. And that's why it's so important for us to even just ask each other, you know, tell me your story. What have you went through? Because what happens is that it connects us and we become so close to one another. And it's just such a joy that Debbie is so willing to be transparent and share her life with us. And so her testimony is called When Life Changes, Dealing with Health Problems and Trusting God. And I want you to be thinking about this one thing. Do you know somebody that has, got, that has dealt with health issues? They're discouraged and they have lost all hope. I want you to remember this one thing, that God alone can give us hope again. Or you might know somebody that's actually angry at God because what they're going through but God alone can change that angry heart and that he can actually give them this abundant life and freedom. And so if you would please help me welcome my friend Debbie as she shares her video testimony. In my life, I was experiencing guilt, blame, anxiety, fear. Guilt that my children had to experience divorce and the aftermath of what divorce causes. Blame and anger at God. Bitter because I had a disease which caused my kidneys to fail. Having to go through dialysis. Six people unable to pass testing to donate a kidney to me my beautiful stepdaughter dying tragically. She died the day after I quit work, no longer able to function because of dialysis. Then, four months after her death, I almost died from kidney complications. Anxiety, worry for our other eight children and 22 grandchildren, excessive worry about the fact that three out of my five children have the same kidney disease I had. Fear that after finally getting a kidney transplant, my new kidney could reject, causing me to have to go back to the life where I was so very sick. When I arrived at my first class, I was greeted with hugs and smiles, and that's the way it was week after week, sharing our struggles, studying God's Word, overcoming our challenges, and learning to be healed and set free. 
As I studied the chapters of the book and prayed, I began to change. I developed a real relationship with Jesus Christ, my Savior. I pray every day because I want to, not out of fear that I have to. I can talk to the Lord anytime, anywhere. I know He hears me, directs me, and answers my prayers. The grace given to me by Jesus Christ and His sacrifice is simple. It really is. It's by His grace that I am saved. As each week of classes went on, God's love transformed me. The guilt left me, and in its place, peace. Why did God put me and my family through so much? The answer is, He didn't. The real question is why I hadn't turned to God more. Looking back, we had so many tender mercies during such difficult times. I can turn to God with faith and expect help and answers. I understand answers may not come the way I expect or want them to, because the Lord has the best plan for me. I continue to work on anxiety. I know I can turn my fears and anxieties to the Lord. Again, He knows what I need. Our children also need to learn and grow, and I'm learning to turn my worries to prayer. Problems, difficult circumstances, stressful times will, will not disappear from my life. I know I can leave them in the Lord's hands and be at peace, enjoying life. As my wonderful husband began to witness my growth, he also began to change. The power of example is so strong. We're attending church services, reading the Bible together, and loving our journey. Sometimes, certain healed and set free classes were more difficult for me to study each week than others. I would go to class and all the amazing women I call family would give me the direction I needed. God worked through them to help me. I would joke that they were only there for me, but that's what the power of our Lord does. The Lord loves me, He forgives me daily, and He's showing me the way back to Him.